Alrighty, welcome back YouTube, another global anti-natalist video. And that is that coming into existence is always a serious harm. And not coming into existence is not a harm. Coming into existence is always a serious harm of death, pain, anguish, loss, and confusion. Those things happen to absolutely every single person that comes into existence. And they simply don't happen if you just don't come into existence. So if you're never born, if you're never conceived and never born, there's no harms whatsoever. And the brain, the human brain, based on peer-reviewed, combed analysis of tons and tons of data from about 22 different research facilities around the world, comes to the conclusion that the human brain turns on in the early stages of gestation between weeks 20 to 24. So there you go. And in those uh, t in that time span, it's not like just a sudden spark of uh, them feeling everything. It's a gradual, they feel a little bit more over time uh, of, of pain when their brain turns on. Okay? Because your brain is your... Uh, conductor of your whole body and uh, without it you are not you you are just a you are just not you have no brain yet okay so in the last video we addressed Ben Shapiro's coma argument and I didn't just state my argument at the very beginning. Around like 1 minute and 30 seconds in, I rattled off the rebuttals to him comparing a not not having a brain yet fetus to a person that's in a coma. And I clearly stated that a person in a coma has already existed. But they might not be able to feel pain while they're in a coma, but the people around them that they have drawn into their life life okay so that the people around them that have come into their existence and now have a relationship with that person that, and that they're waiting for them to wake up they can't wake up from not having a brain yet there's a difference that person doesn't have a brain at all and when they are go gradually becoming a, a new person it's just not it's not right to uh, say that that person is a has a brain, okay? Because they, they don't have a brain yet. All right, the person that's in a coma has a brain, has already had experiences, has specifically anguish and pain, are keeping that person alive. Anguish and pain are keeping that person alive, and the stri the striving to not feel anguish and pain are keeping that person alive. The striving to not feel anguish and pain of the family, of the friends, of whoever that person interacted with and experienced during their life that a fetus simply doesn't experience. It doesn't have any of those things. It never experiences anyone that exists. It never experiences itself e even. So, uh, no, it's not a person until after 20 to 24 weeks. And then we had people trying to say, Anguish and pain are subjective. No, they're not. They're objective uh, thing. Your ethical naturalism is just as verifiable as evolution is itself. Um, it's just as factually evident as evolution. Ethical naturalism, meaning like you don't want to be stopping others uh, from existing once they already ex are existing because you'll inevitably inflict anguish and pain uh, If you don't understand that this is true and correct uh, You're just not thinking about it. It, it also goes farther than that. It goes um, It's the reason why we ethical naturalism is the only reason that we don't uh, We aren't constantly uh, destroying each other uh, on a uh, basis of the serious harms, ethically naturalistic things. Otherwise, we would just be, uh, we would never improve. We'd never uh, improve, whatever that means. And we don't really improve ever. 
uh, it's always just need machines needing more uh, it's more DNA propagation that's what what it can boil down to it's just a, just like a disease propagates uh, so does the gene so um, there you go um, we had a lot of very confused individuals in that last comment section uh, that aren't striving after what is true and correct and instead are tr striving after their rhetorics. That's why they are so fallacious and you could just highlight their fallacious arguments so quickly um, that you, but you know, it's, it's never worth it to communicate with people that are initially making fallacious arguments. You need to like make a medium between you and them in the comment section. I'll leave that to you guys, the people that are my viewers. Um, I think that that's better anyways uh, because if I start responding to people they just <laughs> they just want to get as fallacious and take up as much of my time as possible with absolute nonsense rhetoric to try to appear as though they are correct when they are not correct in any way shape or form and they're just performing logically fallacious arguments okay that's all I really want to talk about I pretty much explained um what makes oh might as well cover we can't cover everything in one fucking video we can't it's just impossible we can't cover everything in one video uh so you guys have to watch my playlist on the other on the on the channel itself all right bye <laughs>